thanks, David. The Princess Shop has helped over 100 different graduates this year through their Princess Shop programs. Of course, we're speaking all about this organization on today's show. And joining me right now is Karen Robson, and she's the executive director. Karen, let's take a trip back to when this organization was first formed. It's a great story as to why these two locals decided to start the Princess Shop. Tell us a bit about that. Sure. So the organization was founded by two university students at the time, Chantelle Hanjay Maloney at the time, and Ainsley Robertson. So Chantelle saw a similar story on Oprah, and she was on a cruise ship, and so she kept seeing the same program over and over again, and she was just, it kept nailing into her mind how perfect this would be in Saskatoon. Growing up, she recognized that there was a need for an organization mm -hmm. that would provide graduation services to young women who are at some sort of a disadvantage, either financially or socially. And so I've been involved since January 2013 as executive director, and it's been amazing. You see so many different stories. It just reminds you time and time again mm -hmm. how we have so many amazing women from the community that are full of so much potential. It's just a matter of the resources and how to reach their endpoint, get to their dreams and their goals. Absolutely, and one way you do that is through your multiple programs. A lot of people, when they think the Princess Shop, they think it's a place you can go and get a grad dress and, and help for that specific day, but it goes far beyond graduation. Describe a little bit of that for us. Sure, yes, the dress program is definitely our carrot. Soon after Ainsley and Chantel realized that there was a need for more um, mentorship. Mm -hmm. So they would be sitting on the couch with these girls after finding their dress, and they realized these girls are, you know, they have amazing support in the school system with the student counselors, the teachers, but after high school, they really didn't have that person in their life to turn to when they're making big decisions towards the next step in their life. So that's where the Fairy Godmother program came from. It was pretty organic, natural that that happened. So um, we started the pilot in 2010 and it's been going well ever since. Very cool. Well, throughout today's show, we are actually going to talk to these princess graduates, some of whom have gone through this Fairy Godmother program. So you definitely don't want to miss that. So keep watching.